Ugh, I need to shave. It's, it's pretty disgusting. Good morning, friends. Today is Thursday. It is day 18 of the 21 day fix. And uh, man, we are closing in on the finish line now. This is crazy. Um, so I did decide that I am not going to uh, post my weight or give you guys any updates for the last uh, few days just because I want there to be some allure of mystery. And I did want to apologize again for yesterday. I know that was, uh, I felt like that was kind of out of character. Things aren't normally that hectic or crazy. Um, it just kind of got away from me. Um, I made really good progress last night, got two or three uh, videos edited and a couple of them already uploaded and that took a big stress off of me. I am still very motivated and I still very much appreciate, uh, you know, all of the support that we've gotten. Um, I know that there hasn't been a lot of people uh, commenting and sharing, but there has been a lot of support. There are a lot of people I, we didn't realize were watching that mentioned that to us when we see them in person. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to head into work and I'll check in with you guys later. So I wound up working a little later than I planned on today. I guess I wasn't working late. I stayed at work late. I got to talking with uh, my boss and apparently he found the vlogs and he wanted to talk to me about them. So that was cool. He's, my boss is actually the guy that uh, introduced me to uh, Casey Neistat. If you guys know who Casey Neistat is, you know um, that a lot of my video and editing style comes from uh, how he vlogs. I'm not really trying to copy him per se, um, but uh, I just, I, I, I. Oh, crap. Look. Only two birds can. And chickens. Oh. I did want to address something that I saw today uh, on Facebook. I, you guys may remember uh, Pam from the Olive Garden video. Um, I wanted to send out a congratulations to Pam because Pam was one of Lindsay's first uh, first clients when Lindsay became a health and fitness coach and. Uh, Pam has spent the last year or two um, really, really working uh, to learn new ways of eating, learn new ways of addressing food in general, um, new ways of uh, becoming more physically active, uh, and just all of those things that uh, you know that we all struggle to do. Pam has been right there with us uh, in that struggle. And today she posted a picture online, and I hope she's not embarrassed that I'm sharing this, but I, I'm just so impressed with it. Pam hit her 40 pound weight loss uh, mark today. I know from experience of being someone who was very overweight that her journey up to this point has not been an easy one. It's taken her a long time to get to where she is today. And it's easy to discount how hard it is to do what she has done. But what I always try to remind people is that if you've lost 20, 30, 40 pounds like Pam has, you are, you are part of a very small group of people who can say that they've ever had to do that and successfully done it. If you put a hundred people in a room and ask everybody to raise their hand who's ever had to lose 40 pounds, it's a very small number. Very few people understand the work and the dedication and the frustration that it takes to do that. So for that reason, I just wanted to give a big congratulations and a big shout out to her because Pam, that is awesome. I, I, I feel you, I feel you on that. I know, I get it. I know how hard that is. And you should be immensely proud about what you've accomplished because what you've done is not easy and you are doing it. 
you're doing it. It's not something that you're gonna do one day. You've moved it from something. You've moved it from a goal that's out on the horizon maybe one day. You've moved it from a wish to a real life thing. A real thing that you did and that shouldn't be discounted. So uh, congratulations, Pam. We're all very happy for you. We hope to continue. We hope we can continue to be a part of uh, your health and fitness journey. Um, watching you work has been a benefit to me. Um, it's motivating for me. I hope that being a part of uh, Lindsay's um, support groups has been a benefit to you. And um, we really look forward to continuing this uh, this journey with you. All right, guys, things have been kind of crazy today. It's been a little bit of an off day. Lindsay hadn't made dinner yet, but she also still needed to work out. So we got the kids down in bed really quickly, and I told her to work out while I made dinner. She is doing that, I am doing this. I have no idea what I'm gonna make. Uh, we had some chicken in the fridge that was already thawed, so we're gonna start with that and see what happens. Okay, guys, I think I got this figured out. Let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I have thinned out a few, I think this is three chicken breasts that I've thinned out. Um, I thin them out because it's easier for me to cook them that way. They cook a lot faster and more evenly. Um, they are all seasoned with salt, pepper, uh, onion, and garlic. This is some small uh, potatoes. I have quartered them, put them, uh, mixed them up with olive oil, rosemary, uh, salt, pepper, and garlic. And we have some frozen broccoli, which will soon not be frozen. Um, we're gonna cook this in the microwave under some cellophane. We're gonna cut this in the oven uh, at 450 for 20 minutes. And we're gonna cook these in a pan with a little bit of olive oil. And that is our dinner. At least two full servings of vegetables here. This is a lot more potatoes than either of us need, but we will save what we don't eat and add them to meals later. Neither Lindsay or I are in danger of going over on reds today, so we'll probably just eyeball this, but we can always put that on a kitchen scale uh, really quick to be sure. That's it. Um, we're gonna have grilled chicken, roasted potatoes, and broccoli. I hope Lindsay likes it. There you go. Kick. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> <laughs>